Meet the New Dunkleistus. Research done by Russell Engelman in 2023 revises an accepted, century-long size estimation of this Devonian period extinct monster fish. Prior length estimates for Dunkleistus were in the range of 16, all the way to 33 feet. This new research and estimate by Engelman puts Dunkleistus at around 11 to 13 feet, or 3.4 to 4.1 meters. Though this new estimate downsizes the length of this ancient predatory fish, it does not change the potential ferocity that this fanged behemoth once possessed. Dunkleistus is an extinct genus of large arthrodire fish that existed during the late Devonian period, about 382 to 358 million years ago. An arthrodire fish is one with a jointed neck. The fish inhabited open water environments in the shallow subtropical seas that covered much of what is now eastern North America. It is believed to be one of the first apex predators on Earth, it was at the top of the food chain during its existence. The new length estimate is based on body size in proportion to the size of eyes, gills and snout length in both living and extinct fish. These ratios can generally be applied to any fish when given just the head or anterior section. The math formula used for this new size estimate gets a fairly accurate rate of measurement when used on most all living fish. So, this revised size is probably more likely than any other estimate from the past. Engelman envisions this version of Dunkleistus as being more similar to a tuna or catfish in its body plan and agility. A shorter length with ability to turn and change directions while actively pursuing its prey, meant that that Dunkleistus was probably not a slow lumbering giant. Similar to a tuna or shark, Dunkleistus would have been highly mobile during pursuit, and then trawled the sea more slowly when at rest. Given the much shorter snout length, it may have have used a rapid suction effect when opening the mouth to draw in prey before quickly biting down. While there are no direct ancestors of placoderm fish living today, the clade to which Dunkleistus belongs, we can compare fish living in similar ecosystems and climates today to better understand their lifestyles and anatomy. With more complete fossil skeletons of other extinct placoderm fish such as Cacosteus and Dinichthys, reconstructing Dunkleistus blends some of the past, with what we know today. Unfortunately, the placoderms had a cartilaginous body, like sharks, that usually did not fossilize. Cacosteus is an exception to that. Cacosteus is an extinct genus of Arthrodire placoderm from the Devonian period. It also had a joint between the skull and the armor of the body. We have complete fossil bodies of Cacosteus to study. The Arthrodire fish body plan allows the mouth to open even wider. The body of the Placoderm dinichthys were very similar in morphology to Dunkleistus. It too had the bony plates, a cartilaginous body and dagger-like teeth, though, somewhat smaller in body size. It will take time for our old impressions and culture of Dunkleistus to gradually move on to this new and more accurately researched version, however, it is the scientific method that gives life to this long extinct species. Dunkleistus may have shrunk down in length, but be grateful we don't have to deal with a situation like this. Thank you for watching and I hope this video was both educational and entertaining. Like and subscribe and perhaps more content like this will be produced.